In today's video we are going to talk about Monzo, a fintech bank and I'm actually going to show you all of the features so that by the end of this video you know if it's actually worth going for a Monzo bank account. Now to get started as for the overview we are going to talk about the origin story of Monzo as well as pricing fees and all of the ATM features, exchange rates so is it actually possible to pay outside of the UK with Monzo we are going to talk about that also if it's actually possible to travel with a Monzo card then we are going to talk about if your funds are actually safe as well as availability ease of use customer satisfaction and additional features and at the end of this video we are then going to talk about the pros and cons of Monzo so that you actually know if it's worth going for a Monzo account now to get started Monzo actually was founded in 2015 in the United Kingdom now the bank quickly gained popularity for its innovative approach to banking services and now is also so a fully regulated UK bank that means all of your money is actually protected to up to £85,000 by the financial service compensation scheme. Now to get started Monzo basically brands themselves as banking made easy so basically you can spend, save and manage all of your money in one place. Now Monzo is only available in the UK so this is going to be for UK residents only. Now as you can see actually over 8 million people already get started using Monzo as their own bank account and Monzo has, great, has basically tons of great features like for example, you can save your money within Monzo and they have some, some roundup features to actually make that easier, more on that later on. You can also spend your money obviously and manage all of your assets. You can also directly invest within Monzo, uh, which is a feature which they've recently added and so on. Now to get started, Monzo actually recently, as I've already said, added the investment feature. So basically you will have three different investment options and you can get started with little as one pound. Now, first of all, this is in the early stage so this isn't really comparable to any kind of big broker out there however who knows maybe they're going to make this more advanced in the future but by now it is also pretty good and you will have some options for investing now as for the fees Monzo actually has some fees for ATM withdrawals so with the free account you can withdraw up to 250 pounds for free every 30 days and also Monzo will basically allow you to withdraw, fa uh, withdraw funds depending on your allowance so if you are going to spend a lot of money and you're going to get a lot of money basically your allowance will go up which in return will also mean that you can basically withdraw more money now all of the funds over 250 pounds for the free accounts you will have to pay three percent if you want to withdraw from an atm now as for the paid plans you will actually get some more uh, allowance basically so for all of the monzo plus plans you will get 400 dollars for free then three percent and for the monzo premium users you're going to get 600 pounds for free every 30 days and then 3%. Now, as you can see right here, your allowance are shared across any account you have. So if you have a joint account, your allowance is across both of them. So for example, if you take out 150 pounds on the second of the month and 50 pounds on the fifth, your allowance would reset on the second and the fifth day on the next month. If you would make a third withdrawal before those dates, then we would charge with, uh, with the withdrawal fee basically. Now I've already mentioned the plus plan and the premium plan. So let's get into that. As you can see right here, Basically, you're going to have a free plan and then also two paid plans. First of all, the Monzo Premium plan for £15 a month, as well as the Monzo Plus plan for £5 a month. Now, as for the minimum term, the Premium plan is going to be six months and the Monzo Plus plan is going to be at three months. So, so for both plans, you will have to be 18 or older. And for the Premium plan, you can't be older than 69, which I found, I found pretty odd, but anyways. So as for the features, you can see them right here. As for the premium plan, you are going to get phone insurance, worldwide family travel insurance. When you're traveling together, exclusions do apply. However, this is also a feature which I personally don't see on any kind of other fintech bank. So I really like this. You're also going to get discounted airport lounge access other accounts in Monzo and you can also earn interest on your money. Now right here it says 1.5%. Well, However, this actually can also be a way more essentially and I'm going to show you that later on. You are going to get 600 pounds of fee-free cash withdrawals, custom categories, multiple categories per transactions, as well as virtual cards, advanced roundups, credit tracker offers, auto expert transactions and five free cash deposits a month. Now as for the Monzo Plus plan, so basically the cheaper option you can set up other accounts in Monzo you are going to get 1% uh, gross interest basically 
400 pounds fee free cash withdrawals and so on. So basically, um, I would just recommend you to go to this website and read through all of the features yourself and then make an educated guess. I will leave you the link down below to do that. Now, as for the special features, Monzo will actually allow you to save all of your money and to organize your money within what they call pots. So basically, you can arrange your money however you like. You can save for a house, put it in a pot and so on. You can just personalize this and this basically kind of helps to manage your money and to save more money over the long term. As you can see they have some blog post right here which says save 1000 pounds in 2021 with the 52 week savings challenge. So this is also something which you can try. However this isn't for the actual account. Now as for saving with Monzo as you all see actually you can earn up to 5.45% in gross fixed interest for your money which is fixed for 9 months with a minimum deposit of 500 pounds. However I still think there's that this is pretty good and compared to other fintech banks out there like bank for example this is definitely on the high end now you can save in a lot of different ways for example as for instant access you will have these options fixed you will have these options and so on now saving with monzo is pretty easy however monzo is also a great choice if you want to go for traveling now basically you can pay anywhere around the world in any currency for fee free so basically this just means with with your local so basically this just means with your ordinary bank service you're going to have to pay i think it's three percent or something like that for any kind of abroad spending however with monzo this is completely free you can also split all of your costs with your pals in seconds which is also a feature which i really like about monzo also if you have a fiance or a husband for example you can set up joint accounts and you can then just split all sorts of bills and so on if you want to as for the paid plans i think for the monzo premium plan right here you will also get worldwide travel insurance and basically this is only for monzo premium however this is still something which i rate pretty big i think this is actually a great feature and if you are going to travel a lot it probably will make sense to go for a monzo account now as i've already mentioned monzo actually provides joint accounts so these are actually shared accounts and i think i've said something other beforehand but basically these are shared accounts where you can share your account with your spouse partner husband anyone basically however monzo will also allow you to basically split all of your bills using the share tabs feature right here now let it be the holiday with your friends nights out dinner drinks household bills and so on you can actually keep track of everything and you can then just split all of the bills within your Monzo account. So basically you can settle up whenever you like and you can settle up individual bills if you want to and so on. This is also a feature which basically every bank has now but also something which I personally use in my day-to-day -day life and which I think is pretty useful. Now if you are a business user Monzo, Monzo actually also has business feature so just head over to business right here and then you will get tons of different Monzo business feature which I won't get into right now because most of you probably won't need it but still I've just I just wanted to mention that basically. Now Monzo will actually also allow you to borrow money so basically with Monzo Flex you can get started borrowing money from Monzo if you want to. Now first of all this is no financial advice I wouldn't recommend you to actually borrow money however still you will have that option if you want to. Now as for the reviews, Monzo has great reviews overall. As you can see on Trustpilot right here, they have 4.2 stars, which is pretty good. I think like, let's for example take Bank. Bank actually only has 3.5 stars, I guess. So basically, this is pretty good. Now obviously, there are always going to be some one-star reviews and some bad experiences. But overall, I think this is actually pretty good. Now, let's get to the final question and let's see if it's actually worth going for a Monzo account. Now, let's get started with the pros. Firstly, I think their mobile app is super user-friendly and super easy to get started with, which I really like. Now, their innovative budgeting and savings tools is also pretty good. Now, obviously, this is isn't something which is unheard of basically but still a pretty nice feature which I definitely rate. Now as for the customer feedback it is also positive overall and they also offer competitive exchange rates so basically 0% exchange rates when traveling which I really like. Now you will also get some additional features like joint accounts and saving pods which also is pretty neat. Now as for the cons obviously the availability is pretty limited you will only get to sign up to a Monzo account if you are inside the UK and 
And as for the fees, basically certain fees will, will apply, such as international ATM withdrawal fees and fees if you are going to surpass the ATM fee limit and so on. Now, now once again, all of the account types and benefits and features are going to vary depending if you are going to go for a free plan, plus plan or premium plan. But however, I think overall Monzo is actually a great choice if you live inside the UK. It wouldn't be my first pick actually, however, I think it is still a great choice. Now, if you want to see some more fintech related reviews, you can do that by using these videos right here. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.